Oh, I just burped really cool and good. Um, hold on. I should check if um, this is recording properly. Give me a second. Trinkets. 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 This, this is like, like, you know, you know, you know that, that thing, thing where it's like, like which, which is, is great. great. <laughs> what? Hold <laughs> on. You know that thing which is like dicks? It's great. No way that's what it sounded like it said. That's awesome. That's so cool, dude. Okay. Hold on. Oh. That that must was my brain for a second. I was like, how is the line going down? It's, whatever. It's, it's fucking Christmas lights. I don't know why. Okay. Also, for the record, I think um, Discord was lagging because I I it removed Better Discord. Um, I I reinstalled Better Discord and all of a sudden it's fine again. Wow, why <laughs> I wonder why I have Better Discord. Um, okay, thank you Discord updates for lagging the fuck out of the world. Okay, where the hell was I? Oh yeah, squares. So I was gonna make a game. Where there was like 10, 10 characters, okay, okay, and it was like, oh, okay, uh, they're they're all based off of different colors, so like, okay, um, the the obvious colors that we would include would be red and yellow and blue. Wait, hold on, let's uh, hold on, let's do this on a different layer. Red, yellow, blue. And green, genius, right? That, that those are the obvious ones. Those are like the core colors. Okay, I knew I wanted those ones, and I was like, okay, what other colors do we have? Um, and uh, God, uh, we we have we have black, we have gray, and we have white. Which doing this one is going to be a little awkward. So just give me a moment here. White. And let's uh, object color. Or wait, hold on. Let's let's do this. Um, fun fact: Anytime I do weird color shit like this, I always make the um, the background this shitty shade of yellow. That's the colorless shade. <laughs> okay, there we go. So we have um, how many colors? Oh, seven. We have seven colors. Wow. Uh, we need more. I don't, I don't know why I said it like that. We need more. Um, also, I just want to mention real quick. It's funny that my taskbar ends up being like the similar piss yellow. Can you guys see that on my screen? I don't remember. Oh, yeah, you can see that. Uh, that is unintentional, actually. Um, I have my computer set up so that um, it picks the user color based on the background. Uh, like it takes the background and it like, uh, averages all the colors and it becomes a new color by pure fucking coincidence. For some reason, the background I made, uh, averages down to dark yellow, which is crazy. It's like, it's, it feels intentional. Um, in fact, actually real quick, let me, uh, for those that have never seen my background, let me just quickly send it in chat. I have two monitors and I have it set up differently on the two monitors. There you go. There's my there's my banger of a background. Uh, oh, what the hell? Why did I do that? Um, I have to fix this now. There we go. Uh, and also for those uh, who are uh, nerds when it comes to my art stuff, uh, yes, the the thing on the right is actually. Um, uh, this was used as a reference to make the uh, the visuals for part of Seven and a Half, which is a teaser for Plane, and was also like a teaser for the new era and blah blah blah. The one with the, like the different visual, whatever. Uh, if you're on Spotify, it's the visuals for. Um... Oh shit! What's that song? Woohoo! I think it's Woohoo from Teak Summer 22. Whatever, point is, I, I remade that scene in Blender, shittily, and <laughs> yeah. 
Anyways, point I'm getting at. Seven colors. And, you know, I can think of another color that's pretty important. We, we gotta include brown as well. Uh, which, side note. Uh, brown is taught to kids like, oh, you know, brown is every color put together. And I don't really understand that. Uh, brown is dark orange. Don't know where that concept came from. I think it might be a paint thing. But in my in my personal, uh, as as someone who was a toddler once and someone who was screwed with paints, I refuse to believe it's an actual paint thing. Because I swear, every time I try to make a brown, it always becomes like shitty dark gray green. You know what I'm talking about? That shitty dark gray green. It's stupid. Uh, I I think I think no, it's not a skill issue. It is a conspiracy theory. <laughs> but. But yeah, so anyways, point is, uh, by my little brain standards, brown was the color that was the combination of all normal colors. And so, you know, it's got to be there, too. So now we have um, we have eight colors. Cool. Um, and, you know, we might as well have 10 characters. Uh, I don't know what colors we should put here. So let's make a poll. Let's make a poll. Let's make a poll for my zero followers at the time on Sploder for what the other two colors would be. Uh, no one commented, obviously, uh, but I later realized, oh, wait, I forgot about orange and purple. <laughs> Ta-da! Orange and purple, obviously. So. Well, pink is like a trinary color, I would argue, because it's like. It's like red and sort of purple, but whiter. Uh, but like, yeah. But anyways, point I'm getting at here. What you're seeing on screen are the 10 core colors in my head. Uh, you could argue, oh, there's there's other colors. There's there's magenta, there's cyan, there's et cetera, et cetera. I get it. I know there's other colors. However, these in my head has always felt like the colors. You know, like every other color to me has felt like a shade of one of the others. Uh, like, I, I I don't even know how to describe it. It's just like, if I grab one of these other colors, like, oh, we have this. That just feels like a different blue to me. Okay, cool. Oh, what about lime? That's just green, but gr uh, like brighter. Uh, and like, oh, okay, we have, uh, we have, uh, we have magenta. That's just purple but brighter you know i almost said green but greener <laughs> it's actually funny uh but yeah so you know there, there's like a feeling in my brain that like yes i know they're different colors but it's like they, they feel like fake colors you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> they're fake colors they're tri no they're try hard colors that's what's going on <laughs> they don't deserve the spotlight <laughs> because once you start including those colors then you might as well just start be including uh shit like dark red which at that point like why even bother why even bother the look at the shades of th this brown and this dark red they're almost the same uh like why bother um point is the ten colors. No, I am not colorblind. To my to my understanding, I am not colorblind. Uh, if I found out I was colorblind after all this time, I think I would sob, honestly. Uh, but it would be funny as well, kind of, considering my name is fucking Cubo, Rainbow Cube. Yeah, yeah. For those that don't know, because uh, every now and then I mention this and people get surprised, and it kind of surprises me. Uh, Cubo. Yeah. And my last name is a color. That is another thing. Uh, uh, for a while, I was like, oh, you know, I don't like having my last name on my line. But at this point, it's just leaked because it was it was it's known at this point very well. And also, if you literally go on Spotify, hold on. Why does Spotify have an update? Give me a second. OK, okay hold on. Give it a moment. Okay, all right, cool. Thank you for that genius 
Okay, cube bow. If we go to cube bow, it's awesome Spotify, SoundCloud, Apple Music. Uh, if we go to Caden, if we... If we go to cube bow, that was like, I felt drunk saying that. Have you ever said your own first name out loud like that? <laughs> okay. If we go to cube bow, and we pick one of the random tracks and we go to view credits... Performed by Cubo, written by Caden Brown. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm fine with my last name being out at this point because it's just, you know, it, at this point it feels like an Easter egg, you know? Like, the la my last name is a color and my name is Cubo, like, come on. Uh, KB are my initials, Cube Bo, Cube Bo. The reason why the B is brown in the Cubo logo is because it's brown. Other than that, it's just the rainbow, but backwards. Uh, of course, white is a little weird. Because lore, ha ha ha. <laughs> that sounded depressed, holy shit. Um, <laughs> the sound I just made sounds like something that I would have put in the fucking I'm back teaser, if anyone knows what I'm talking about. The 7 rip teaser. Uh, the fucking... Whatever. Anyways, point is... No, it's... it's Okay, well, hold on. It's cycled differently as well. Because uh, it's it's a little weird. Yeah. If you start at E and work backwards and wrap around, it's a rainbow. Uh, and, and, and ignore the brown and swap out white for purple for lore reasons. I know that's a lot of so many ifs. But that's E B U K W O. There you go. New pride flag just dropped. Yeah. Do 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 do. Actually, I don't think you know. I've never thought about this. Um, what does color calibration sound like if you turn it into the proper rainbow colors? Hold on. I'm 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 literally taking a moment to do this because this is too interesting to me. Um, color calibration raw. Okay, here it is. No, not that. Okay, so here's the. We're just gonna ignore the brown because brown is a rest. If you didn't know, wait, hold on. Can you guys see my whole thing? Okay, yeah, you can see it fine. Um, because this is uh green. Green, yellow, orange, red. So it would be this in reverse. Oh my god, hold on. Oh my god. Shut up. Okay. Place notes out of scale. There we go. I hate how they changed it to allow notes to place notes. Because every time I look for that fucking setting, I always can't find it. It's actually insane. Um, and then, uh, purple, blue. wait, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, it sounds so much worse. Holy shit. Holy shit. That's such a bad melody. Wait, is it the lick? What? Wait, is it actually? Wait. It, it's like the lick, but worse. Wait. Wait, what? Fucking hell. I'm, I'm stupid, just give me a moment. Oh, there we go. It's like it's like the lick but cursed. It's it has a similar movement, but not really like at all, actually. This is like oh hold on, let's just listen to this.
What? Oh, I picked the phone. <laughs> I hate that the lick makes it feel right. I hate that. It's like it's like the lick in negative harmony. What the fuck? How is that what? 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 Evil lick. Oh! Okay. That's so fucking funny. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I just, I, I don't even know what to say about that. Uh, where the fuck even was I? Point is, okay, ten colors, only ten of them. There's only ten of them. There's only ten colors ever, only. Uh, let's see if this works. I don't remember if this is gonna work, but we'll try it. Okay, because we have. Okay, so I just copied all the colors. And we're gonna just outline. Shoo. No, that's not. That's not what I wanted to do. Um, morphology. There it is. Okay. So I am. I'm morphing. I'm morphing Power Rangers. <laughs> Sorry. If you see this, this is the back one. In fact, actually, let me just do this real quick. Yeah, you can see. You have like the actual line, and then you have like. The background is like the back one is like fattened up. Uh, now I think if I hue shift all this, you might notice some things arise. Uh, yes, you indeed you indeed do actually, because um, if I remove this, you'll notice. Okay, so some of these colors are the same as normal as you would expect. Um, since, you know, white is opposite of black, gray is, there's no opposite, it's just neutral. Um, you feel like you're colorblind, look at those, yeah. Uh, yellow, blue, okay, fine. Uh, that's, like, is that the same shade as purple I used? I think that's a different shade. Wait, where, wait, what? Did I not write, oh, there it is. It's like a slightly, yeah, it's a different purple. Okay, noted. Uh, uh, but anyways, the important thing I'm getting at here, I, I, I don't know where this one went. We're just going to ignore that. Huh. Hmm. Yeah, so uh, it's, it's, oh wait, is it because of the background color? No, okay. Um, yeah, so, okay, the colors are a little off. The colors are a little off because I did it slightly differently than what I just did. But the point I'm getting at here is that this is dull. Dull is um, orange, but inverted. Uh, Tuke is down here, actually, which is brown, but inverted. Uh, I don't know what's going on with this color here, this green, because I, I think it's, e it's either lime or rain. Because there's lime and there's rain. Th this is like weirdly between them. We're just going to ignore that. Uh, mock. And I, I, I have no fucking clue what that one is. But. Because <coughs> I have an old. I have an old project file somewhere. Where I basically was just like. Okay. You have ten colors. How would you expand like how like hmm let me let me bring up the project file i've shown this before this is where the extent of my uh my neurodivergence comes into play um yeah it's something about blending modes i don't remember what it was exactly oh i think it was multiply blending that's probably what it is something like that i'll find it hold on it might take a while. Give me a moment. Outdated lore. Okay, color map. Here's the color map. So this is this is the base ten colors. I've, I've shown this before, but now it's on video. You have the base ten colors because you have like 
uh, the six kind of normal colors. You have brown, and then you have the three neutrals. Cool. 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 Um, this is this is actually an older version of the of the Toma wheel. Fun fact. Uh, but you want to see another? Th this happened after. Um, so look. Okay. So here's the thing. Um, <laughs> okay. So hold on. Let me. Let me. Where's that sticker? Where's the sticker? There it is. <laughs> So, my, <coughs> my thing was, what, what if I, what if I just like, you know, gave every note a color, you know, gave every note a color and I, I was like, okay, based on this, okay. If you, cause if you look, it's actually the same positions and it's, it's like, oh, why is that? We'll get to that. But you can see red is here, green is here, yellow is here, blue, orange, purple. And if you look here and you ignore the ones in between, just like the ones on these axes, you'll notice it's the same colors. Hmm. What's going on between? It's that you take this color and this color and you blend them. Uh, I wonder, do I still have the... um? I don't know if I have, what is, okay. I'm trying to see if I have, wait, which one? I actually have no idea, oh. No, that's negative harmony, we're gonna ignore that. We're ignoring. <laughs> I should mention, the reason why, I, I've always been so weird about colors. I, apparently, I, I don't remember this for a single second, but Apparently, my aunt was telling me that, or uh, my aunt on my dad's side was telling me that um, uh, when I was younger, I would play "quote unquote" number games, where because uh, my my grandma uh, on my dad's side had a, uh, a, 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 a had like numbers and letter magnets on the fridge, and I would sit in front of the. Uh, sit in front of the fridge and just endlessly for like hours just like move numbers around <laughs> that was it that was just I, I would just fuck around with numbers for like a long time uh and i remember nothing about that at all but also i know it was me uh because of the way my brain works so and th this is the extent of how my brain works right <laughs> you're seeing it um you're, you're seeing the notes you're seeing C sh you're seeing the 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 notes you're, see you're seeing angles which i don't think i've actually ever used in anything but it is a thing actually um you're seeing the fact that there's uh, uh neutrals up here in their own little world you're seeing the fact that cyan is in its own uh, little world that has its own offshoots in order to mirror this you're seeing a uh, puzzle so uh you might you might have been wondering why the colors are the way they are um so just just uh so here here we here we have a square one on my on my camera uh hold on actually i should just put this on the screen because otherwise it will be completely invisible um Where's the video? There it is. Oh, I have to turn off my camera on Discord, right? Okay. Uh, activate. Hey, what's up, boys and pieces of shit? <laughs> Yo, what's up? It's me. It's me, Cubo, if I was big. Yeah, apparently I am sexist now. It's, it's my new arc. That's the real reason I'm gay. Okay, so. Right here, we... <laughs> Right here we have the thing. We have this is the square one, the square one. Uh, if you don't know, square one is an actual puzzle. It's like a, a Rubik's cube. Do I have a Rubik's cube right here? Um, I don't know if I do actually. I have all this weird shit. I have a pentacle cube, which fuck that thing. We have. Um, I don't actually know what this thing is called. It's like an ivy cube, but it's, it's shaped differently. Um, 
Uh, we have a dino cube. We have this fucking abomination, which I refuse to do anything with. Like, what the hell is this? It has a center spinny thing. What's the point of that? It's like a mirror. It's like a... It's like a floppy because it only has two layers. Like, what is this fucking thing? Oh, I got it for Christmas. I might as well have gotten the fucking disease for Christmas. Um, anyways, so... What, what? Okay. Um, <clears throat> point, point I'm getting at here. Uh, Y'all know what a Rubik's Cube, how it moves. Um, you know, you just, you just twist it. Whoa, you twist it and you get the colors to go correct. Um, square one is a little funny. It's a little funny. It's, uh, it's, it's a little funny. You know, you got, you got your movements. You got your movements. Uh, but you also, you, what? What is that? What is that thing? What? Oh. Oh, no. Oh. 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 So. It's a it's a weird puzzle, and I love it. It has a good name, too, because it's square one. So. <clears throat> the point I bring this up, uh, if you look at the colors of all the sides, uh, they're the same as on a Rubik's Cube. You have... Because if you don't know... This is okay. First of all, I should mention just real quick. Um, here, let me get a Rubik's cube real quick because I, I I have one like right here. Wait, no, what? I do not have one right there. What? Okay, fine. We're gonna look at this boy. We're gonna look at the boy. Do I have a cat? I see the cat tower. Yes, I yes I do. Hold on, wait. Let me send this. Uh, Blung. He is so cute. Scrappy has decided lately that he wants to sleep in my bed every night. It's very cute. He like screams at me when it's like midnight because I stay up late, and he's like go to your room already. And I'm like, okay, fine. And I go in my room and I lay there and he lays next to my legs and he like, he like curls up in the blanket and I tuck him in a little bit. It's very cute. He purrs. It's very cute. <coughs> Do they like strawberry milk though? I have no idea. Perhaps that is worth a check. Check if the cat likes the strawberries and milks. But anyways, okay, point is, here we have my friend uh, so, fun fact, this is actually a Christmas item, which is why the colors are like this. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's a little weird, uh, to use this as a reference, but the, I just wanted to give a quick little fun fact. Uh, if you've ever seen a shirt out in the wild that has a scrambled Rubik's Cube on it, please look at it. It's so funny to look at it, because the thing you need to keep in mind is that a Rubik's Cube has, uh, a... A specific amount of pieces, right? Because you have nine pieces on this side. You have nine on this side, etc., etc. However, it should be mentioned that when it comes to actual physical pieces, this is the same piece. That You can't split this tile and this tile, okay? That makes sense, right? You just can't do that. There's no way, there's no move you can do that will move this to the side and this, like, the opposite direction or something. You can't do that. It's not physically possible. It's on the piece. It's on the same piece of plastic. So, fun fact. If you look at shitty drawings of scrambled Rubik's Cubes, look and try to see if there's any corners or edge pieces. Corners have three tiles and edges have two tiles. Try to see if any of them have matching colors on both sides. Because if that's the case... It is an unsolvable Rubik's Cube and literally not a scrambleable state to get to. Uh, and it's really funny to look at all these shirts and be like, oh, is that an actual Rubik's Cube? And it's just it's just made up. It's just they picked random colors. We're like, 
because it's literally it's not pa it's not possible two sides of the same color <laughs> god me when i color over the colors yeah um anyways that was a weird off topic thing but point point is okay if you didn't know the colors of the sides they aren't actually arbitrary they usually are actually the same in fact let me look here i'm gonna check oh yeah if you look these are actually exactly the same. You have orange here, and then I turn it this way. White, red, yellow. We got, go back to orange, and then we look over here. Green and blue. The, the, the placement of the colors are actually always the same. Blue, red, green, orange. Trying to do this is kind of awkward, but you get the point. Oh, I went the wrong way, you know. This is the same, right? Yeah, it is. I'm just confusing myself. Okay. But anyways, uh, it's it's all the same. It matches how actual Rubik's cubes and three by threes look. Um, and the way it always is is, if you were to use the orange as a front fa face, you have the front face is orange, the back is red, the up face is yellow, the down face is white. The left face is green, and the right face, wait, yeah, the right face is blue. Yeah. Colors. Isn't that awesome? Uh, what the hell's the relevance of any of this? So, if you look at this thing right here, you'll notice uh, there's actually a similar pattern to it. Because um, it's, it's like, it's like, um... How do I describe it? On the bottom here, it, the, the colors are, the directions are a little confusing. Oh wait, my cam is in the way, you're right. You're so right, we don't need this. Well, actually we can put this up here. There we go. I'll just put it tiny. Ah, please don't hit me with messages. Okay, Um. so. If you look at the bottom of the, of the wheel here, the little mini wheel, you have orange, and then to the opposite of that, whoa, what the hell's going on with the color? If you look at the opposite of orange on the cube and the wheel, you will get red. They match up. And then you move over to a different axis. You have blue with the opposite of it being green. And then to the and then you also have the other axis is yellow and well. Hmm. See, this is this is the mix-up, right? Why do I have a message? Hold on. Oh, Samsung update. Truly amazing. I've been talking for so long that my voice is starting to hurt. I just want to point that out real quick. Um, I don't know how long I've been doing this. Anyways, okay. On an actual Rubik's Cube... Or, you know, whatever twisty puzzle you have that's six sides. On the bottom, you have white. How I I've been doing this for three hours. That's crazy. On the bottom, you have white. However, on the thing we're looking at, it's purple. Uh, the reason for that is honestly just because for the sake of the visuals on the screen, this little visual I was making, it felt weird to uh, put white here considering that like the whole point is oh these are the normal colors and then you have the neutrals which aren't hues they're light dark etc so it would be weird to try to fit the whole thing around white being here and so i went with purple instead because it was the only other color that fit there uh and as such as you will notice with a lot of my stuff uh, this one little change ended up becoming a lore thing, uh, which brings us back to this, finally. Uh, it's been so long since we've looked at this image. Every other color is weird, actually. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, Ray Slaw. Direction, purple. Direction, purple. That's white. Ignore that. Direction, purple. This is purple. Pretend it's purple. If we were in the fictional world, this was purple. 
direction. Oh, wait, sorry. I should show it this way, actually. I should do it like this. You're looking at it from orange. You're looking at the down face, and that's purple. <coughs> purple means down as a direction. Green means left. Blue means right. Yellow means up. Orange means front. And red means back. Yes, so Ray Ray means up. Uh, in this context, there are other usages for ray, but in this one, ray is being used to refer to direction. And so, ray slaw means ray down. Or it means direction down, I should say. And it should be mentioned that slaw also means a bunch of other things in its own. However, when you are looking at ray as a direction, and you're using slaw to plug into that, then slaw means exclusively just down in that context. Um, so this is down. This is all just down. Okay? And then, as we mentioned before, this is just an equal sign. Thing on left equals thing on right. And this is, like, the function, and this is the thing you plug into it. So this is one thing, this is the is, and this is the thing on the right, okay? So what's going on here? I, I have significantly less to say about this one, admittedly. Uh, <coughs> this is abstract. Uh, log means abstract. I'll just get to the point there. Um, the, uh, to be more specific, though, did I close the... Oh, no, okay. If you look here, you'll notice uh, log is opposite to sore. Uh, considering that, like... How do I describe this? This and this are opposite. This and this are also opposite. I know that some people would be like, oh, those are adjacent because they're right next to each other. Uh, it's, it's a little weird with the outer hexagon. Um, cause the thing you kind of need to keep in mind is like the way it's set up is that all three of these come together to make something. All three of these come together to make something that makes sense. So in that case, this is opposite of this in the same way that this is opposite of this. That's what you would expect. However, um, the outer hexagon is a little weird because with the outer hexagon, instead of having two groups in this wheel here. We actually have three. You have this one, you have this one, and you have this one. Uh, and you might be wondering, why don't the inner hexagon and the circle have three groups? Where did the third go? There they are. It's just they're colorless symbols, so putting them in the wheel would be a little weird. You could do it if you wanted. Uh, I honestly don't know how you would fit Sir and Rit into here, but you could try. Um, the one that I'm more interested in is this, because you have these. Sta, this is sta. <laughs> Saying that out loud is so weird. Sta is a part of tier, and uh, Gliss is a part of um, uh, Leaf. And I always fuck up which one it is. Okay, let's see this time. Because tier, it's called tier because it's a tier of a person. It's a person, not a f world. It's not leaf lives, it's water lives. Okay, good job me for thinking that way. Um, this on the left is the tier section. And this on the right is the leaf section. And then in the middle here, we have Delta, which is just Delta. Uh, then, yes, fun fact, this used to be called dr Driplet. Driplet, which was a terrible name because, it, first of all, it was the only one. Wait, no. It was one of the only ones with five letters, which pisses me off. It also just, I don't know. It felt weird. 
but whatever. Yeah, overlap has five letters as well. Try out has five letters. I hate try out. I need to think of a better name for that. Um, point is, <clears throat> Mach has four letters. What? <laughs> Pooh, let's go. Okay, anyways. Point is, okay, the, the thing I'm getting at here, sorry, I'm getting so off topic. Positive, neutral, negative for delta. Uh, delta. Okay? Does th that make sense to you guys? Just just take that part, pal. Bam is made up of these three in the middle. Um, <clears throat> and then... I think I actually did call it trow for a little bit, which is funny. Um, I changed it to try out because it's like triple, I think. Something like that. I don't know. <laughs> um, anyways. In the outer hexagon, you also have these two and these two. And uh, this is where the these two colorless ones come in here, because... Since sta is a part of tier, and since tier is here, that means you could technically draw sta like right here. And then gliss would go right here. Sta is actually technically the, the, uh, the neutral between sore and log, and gliss is actually technically the neutral between rain and dole, uh, which I should mention when I say neutral, I mean uh, Gliss is like the mock of Leaf. And similar to how Demi and Mock looks... Oh, fuck. Similar to how Demi and Mock look... Demi and Mock look similar, Sta and Gliss look similar. I mean, of course, in a different kind of way. But you, you, get, you get what I'm saying here. Uh, Demi and Mach are so clearly way more similar, but Sta and Gliss have similar, like, vibes to them. They all are very pointy, they're triangular, they cross over themselves, etc, etc. Uh, the only reason they're not in this wheel is because this wheel is used to specifically show the color- the colored ones? Um... When up here you have these symbols that are all colorless, because colors are a thing. Um, and as you can see, you, you, have, you have the same directions we were talking about before. Here's the front, here's the right, here's the up, here's the down, here's the left, here's the back. There was somewhere I was going with this. Oh yeah, log. What the fuck is log? Okay. Point I was getting at earlier. This and this are opposite. They're not adjacent as you would probably assume from the wheel. Because with the way the wheel is set up, you would probably think, oh, sore and this are opposite. That's not true. Um, keep in mind, saw is like right here. So this and this are actually opposite polarity. Why isn't there? Because sta is colorless. Um, and so it's just not displayed there. You could if you wanted, but it's shown up here instead. Um, but, okay, so. Um, okay. Let's put sta here, and then let's remind that this is all... Oh, God. This is all tier. Okay. In fact, actually, uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, this is tier. I'm trying to remember. I'm pretty. Oh, I'm trying to remember which way is which. Yeah, I'm. Okay, here's my guess. I'm gonna don't. Uh, I'll I'll double check myself right now. But my guess is that since semi is here and that's negative, and since Foss is here, and that's negative polarity. Sore is negative, and log is positive. So, if you were to draw it up here as a tree, 
it would be sore log with staw in between. They all come together to make tier. Let's double check myself real quick. Oh, am I right? Oh, cool. Okay, thank you for having that open already. Yes, I was indeed right. See, I'm learning. There, the, I, the, it's it's funny saying all this because I kept on fucking up things uh, when I was talking about it last time. Um, but because uh, because one thing that always fucks me up with this, um, you need to keep in mind. So, this and this are. It kind of acts as the polarity for the whole wheel, sort of. Um, if you're on this side, it's that's true. Because plus is here, minus is here, neutral in the middle. Cool, that makes sense, okay? Hemi, that's positive. That's correct. Semi is negative. Uh, this is negative, positive, negative, positive. That, all, that makes sense. However, when you go to the other side, there's kind of a yin-yang effect where it's actually doing... It's going the opposite direction. Um, so the reality is, is that this is actually the negative, this is the positive, this is the negative, this is the positive, this is the negative, this is the positive. And that always fucks me up. That always fucks me up. Um, it's, it's, it's going in a different direction for the other side of the wheel. Um, because of the way it sets, because of the way it's set up. Um, but it's intentionally set up that way. You just have to deal with it. For every for every left, there is a right. You need to you need to get used to that shit. <coughs> okay. Um, there was somewhere I was going with this. Um, yeah. So, sorry. Tear refers to like the human condition. I guess you could say something like that. Whatever. Um, the 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 point is is that. It's kind of like personality. Soar refers to like you on a very personal level, like specific things about you, personal things about you. Like imagine zooming into your consciousness, soar is there. Log on the other hand is you on an abstract level. It's you from the outside. It's you simplified, et cetera, et cetera. Now it should be mentioned that Soar is kind of like what you're like, kind of like what you are interested in, what you live for, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Log is like you trying to explain that out loud, right? Because soar is in here, you know, you know, you can feel it, you can feel it in your bones, you know, what who you are, you know, everything about yourself, not well, not everything, you know what I mean. You, you you can feel it there. It's like an emotion thing. However, uh, in order to let people know about that, you have to let it out somehow. You have to upchuck it. <laughs> what a gross way to put it. You you have to upchuck your you have to upchuck your uh, your 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 fluids um, in order to you know let it, let it be known how beautiful of a person you are. <laughs> um. And that's, that's what log is. Uh, and so because of that, log often means language. There's a cool thing. Uh, that's actually not relevant to what we're talking about, but it's something worth mentioning because it's probably the most important thing to keep in mind about log is that's like the way it's used most of the time. Um, however, log just also means like abstraction. That's the thing that should be kept in mind. And I, I honestly could not tell you why. Um, similar to something like English, where, like, there's very old, like, nonsensical things that we've just grown to get used to. Um, for some reason, this, this, this phrase is, like, the first thing I ever writ. I, first thing I ever wrote for, um, um, for Toma Rowan at all. And it was at a point where quite a lot of stuff was not the way it is now. Uh, and because of which, uh, one funny thing is that this means color. Abstract equals color. Because it, it just does. It just does. There's admittedly not a good reason for it. Um, 
I like it makes sense, but also, you know, um, there there would be different ways I would do it now. Probably I would probably use May since May means how something looks, et cetera, et cetera. But uh, but considering how incredibly simplified this is, how much it's this thing equals this thing, it's fine. I I'm fine with this. But anyways, you should keep in mind. In this context, logs means color, and color of this is white. Color white. I'm, I'm, I'm doing that same shitty color thing. We're just... So, race law is log hemi equals down equals white. The down face is white. Well, that's the thing, K Lemon. Uh, see, you're on my camera, as you can see, it is white. Um, however, as I mentioned earlier, there was some weird shit that happened, and here's when it gets interesting. Because, um, so you might have noticed, uh, Kerbin just said the down face was white. Uh, the reason, so I don't know if Kerb was just thinking that this one is was white, or if the other one was, but because at this point. It is changed, uh, like, if you look at my, like, bio on artist stuff, ever since, uh, after Colorful Shatters came out, and ever since Plain was a thing that existed, the phrase mysteriously changed to this, race law is law, Ugg's law, which means down is purple, which means not this. Because what you're looking at right now, this is the real world, what you're seeing on the camera. I mean, of course, you're seeing it as a projection. You're seeing it as a, a not real world thing. But there are not real worlds, too. Ooh. Um, I forgot about the sp spooky Halloween sound. Um, ugh. My throat is starting to hurt. I'm not even joking. Holy shit. Um, hold on. I just realized. Hold on. Let me stop recording for.